Hey guys, today Simon and I will talk about white holes. To understand what white holes are, you must first understand what are black holes. I'll let Simon explain what they are. Black holes come after a massive star runs out of fuel, and to carry on the process of nuclear fusion, it collapses in on itself, making a huge explosion known as a supernova. After this, its gravitational pull causes it to collapse in on itself more and more, until a certain point where it has infinite density, which is called gravitational singularity, also known as a black hole. This gravitational force is so powerful that nothing can escape it, and people suggested that whatever enters a black hole, it will be trapped and lost in there forever. All the matter that gets trapped in there is simply called information. According to Hawking's radiation theory, all the information gets radiated and destroyed. But the problem is that Isaac Newton and Albert Einstein both stated that matter cannot be created or destroyed. So recent studies have shown that it might be possible that matter will be reformed. That is where white holes come in. If we go back to Stephen Hawking's Hawking radiation theory, it also states that black holes evaporate over time, which means that all the matter trapped in it gets destroyed. So as recent studies have showed, it's possible that before black holes die, they might turn into so-called white holes. There are lots of theories about these white holes. One of them states that instead of just vanishing, black hole turns into a white hole and ejects all the information it held inside, most likely in a very deformed shape, since all the matter that enters the horizon event of a black hole gets ripped into atoms. This can be backed up by the fact that in 2006, a satellite had observed a gamma ray burst which lasted 402 seconds, which could only suggest that it was a supernova explosion, but there were no supernovae at that time, so it could very much prove the existence of white holes. Some scientists actually took the white hole theory even further and suggest that white holes are on the other side of black holes or wormholes, and they can actually open in other universes or dimensions. Some actually believe that the Big Bang itself could have been a white hole which came from a black hole from another universe. Others still also believe in black hole white hole theory, think that it could be possible to travel through space faster than the speed of light. Not by actually traveling faster than light, because according to Einstein's theory of special relativity, it is impossible, but rather by just taking a shortcut through space by bending the space-time continuum. Because white holes cannot be proven, at least not now, you can make literally any theory about it. Here were just some of the most logical and most supported ones. Thanks for watching, hope you have enjoyed it and learned something new out of it. Bye.